latch on the inside. Just dump it up on all the lines. All around it. Three lines back there, two lines on that side, just so one of them breaks, I got plenty of backups. For pretty much my insurance, I just doubled up on all my ropes everywhere, all the ones going to the pines. And the, but the dock is a floating dock, so we don't have to worry about that. Those ropes getting too tight or too loose to snap it away. And then just taking down all the mainsails, taking down all the covers, anything that's tarp fabric on top, just stucking everything down below deck. And then you know, less wind resistance, don't got to worry about nothing whipping around and falling off. Besides that, the boat's an old boat, she's super sturdy, not worried about anything. When it gets really bad, I'm probably going to be up in my car. I had to uh, change my Land Rover into a tiny home, so I'm going to be up there on the land and then just every hour or so coming down here and checking to make sure some other guy's boat doesn't hit mine. It's the only thing I'm really worried about is other people's boats and then logs in the water. We were actually slated to go down to Fort Lauderdale um, to uh, spend the second part of the, the trip and hang out. And then um, we were not able to do that because of the storm situation. We've ramped down again our uh, preparations to evacuate, but again, we're, we're going to hunker down. This is something that we think we can kind of ride it out, but again, we're, we're monitoring the forecast. Right now, it's the calm before whatever storm comes through that comes through in a way that, you know, necessitates that we evacuate. We're again, we're prepared to leave and do what's necessary.